The next technique I'm going to show you is wrapping a box with regular wrapping paper. The way I measure for this is that I make sure I have enough paper to come around and overlap about an inch. On the edges, I want to make sure that I have enough that, enough that comes up and over the edges to about an inch. So I'll just pinch my paper so I know where my edge is here and I'll cut about an inch away from that. Now I'm going to place my box with the top of the box down on the paper. And I'll bring my paper up on the side, like this. And I'm going to tape it. By taping the paper to the box, it's going to give it a nice, secure fit. Then I'll bring this paper all the way over to the edge. All the way over to the edge. And you can pull on this. That's why you're going to have this nice, tight wrap because it's been taped to the box. And you'll just fold it right over on the edge and crease it so your seam is on the edge. Now you can take your tape and just put two little pieces of tape right here and that'll hold it. You can use a glue stick, you can use hot glue gun, you can use double sticky tape, whatever you like to use, whatever works the best for you. What I like to do is use my plain clear tape. Now this is difficult to see, but I take the plain clear tape and I tape it to half the paper running along the edge. So half of it is on the paper and half of it is sticking up, sticky to my fingers. And then I fold it back on itself and press it down. And you can't see it. I'll do that again. Take the tape, you put it on the paper. So half of it's on the paper and half of it is sticking up. And you can hear the sticky part, my finger. And I'm going to fold that back and then just press it down. And that way you don't see your tape and it gives you a really nice finish here. Also the advantage of this is that you can peel this back again if you've made a mistake and readjust it. Now we call this our seamless wrap. So all the seams will be hidden and they'll be hidden along the edge of the box. What you want to do on your sides is you come up a little bit from the bottom and you cut in and around. I'll show you. All the way around. And start on this side. You want to make sure that you leave a little to fold. About half an inch to an inch. So when you're done cutting it, you have an L shape on each side. All right, and that's very important. Now, you're going to take this and you're going to press it down, crease it along the top here, and press it all the way in. Now when you do that, what you normally want to do is pull the paper up like this, but you'll see there's a hole here, so you know you've done it wrong. So you want to take the corner, the edge of the paper, and pull it straight up to the corner of the box, and then press it down. You press this down, push this in, but pull this paper, this edge right here, straight up. Then you crease it along the edge and cut it off. But you don't throw any of this paper away. I think you've got the point by now. Okay. And you can do the same tape technique here. Take half the tape, fold it, and press it down. And 
press it down. And you have this really nice finish. So now you have this great wrapped box. This is especially nice on a cube. You won't see any of the edges at all. It's just beautiful. All right, we're going to use this box, and I'm going to show you a couple of more bows. This material is called tulle, and I like to use it because it's easy to use, it's easy to reuse, and it's fast and it's simple. And it comes in all sorts of great colors. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to use three colors. Oops. and just blend them together. You can see it looks beautiful when they're together. So now I just take this and knot it. And this stuff's nice and strong too, so don't worry about it ripping. All right, so now you've got a knot. You'll use these as your lead ribbon with the uh, tool. And I'm going to gather up my three colors. This reminds me of Sherbert colors, just great. And I'm just going to loop them back and forth in my hand, just like this. You know, because you don't throw anything away, you're going to have all sorts of scraps in your way when you're working, but don't worry about it. Okay. Loop it back and forth. When you have a nice handful, it looks like the right size for your bow. Just cut that off. And then take one color. I'll use the uh, orange here. Just take one color, and that's what you're going to tie this with. Okay, you grab this and you just tie it. Really a simple bow. Cut some of the loose ends off, but don't throw it away. You can use that for smaller packages. And you're done. That's a tool bow. The next bow I want to show you is using Glitz ribbon. And I love this. I never get tired of using this material. It comes in all these wonderful colors. It comes twisted like this. And when you go to use it, you just untwist it. Very easy, like that. Now this bow, I like to use my scraps for this. This is a great way to use up all those little pieces. I'm going to start with my lead ribbon. And you just untwist it. You start it like this, and then you can just pull it and just run your thumb through it. It's really very easy. I like the sound it makes. I like the way it feels. It just makes wrapping more fun. All right. So I'm going to wrap my box. Now, because I'm going to be making a large bow. I want to make sure that I use the poly satin ribbon to tie it because this is going to be keep it nice and tight. So I'll take about two feet worth and double knot this, and that's going to be my base. Now, as I said, this is a great way to use up your scraps. I like to just use any color. And I'm not going to worry about what length they are. Some are going to be long, some are going to be short. doesn't matter. That's what's so nice about this stuff is that you can't make a mistake. You can't do it wrong. Set 
So after you've got your colors, now this is where your own creativity comes in. You pick, you choose the colors you want to work with, or just choose what you have on hand. Okay, and then you can just untwist them. This is a great job for the kids. As you can see, it goes pretty fast. You can just grab them like this in a handful and put them on. Or you can plan what you want to do and have one layer of color, then another layer of color. I just prefer to grab them like this. Don't worry about the size or the color. You can take care of that after it's on there. You hold it in your hand like this and you just tie it right on. Double knot it to hold it. And you've basically made your bow. But what you want to do now is you want to move them around how you want them to look. And don't be afraid to, to play with this. You can't hurt it. Now this is where you can go back and you can trim. I like to fold them in half and cut them again at a diagonal and you have a nice V shape. Don't try to make it perfect. This is not a bow that's supposed to be perfect. And you can V shape them like that. You can keep some long. But what I like to do, because this bow is a little, a little bit too crazy, I'm just going to clean it up a little bit. And the way you do that is you just gather them all up to the center. And you give them a haircut right across the top. But you don't throw any of this away. Remember, okay, and now you've cleaned up your bow. looks a lot better. These are great bows for mailing because what you do is after you've got all the bows made you just lay all the boxes on top of each other and when it gets there you can just puff them up like that and they're just ready to go. The technique that I just showed you using this twisted glitz ribbon it's a basic technique for all these packages. And you can see that by using different colors, by cutting the ends a little bit differently, by finishing off the centers. Here, this one, I'm using tulle and uh, ribbon, curling ribbon in the middle. And this one was basically the same with the multicolors as I did on the first bow, only I just put the shred, tied some shred in the middle. So by using the same technique, this one technique, you can make all of these wonderful packages.